Hey, it's Jason here. I'm looking at uh, a little tech demo from Buck, I would assume, called Buck Experiment. Uh, I was playing around with it for the last I don't know, week or so and uh, actually kind of impressed in some of the stuff he's been doing, so I'd like to show you some of the stuff I really enjoy. So first of all, the hands are very well done. And uh, unlike the Tuscany demo where you will uh, press a configure button and line them up with your shoulders, and it'll kind of base it on the model. Um, this one has it more of kind of like a mouse interface, so same thing you do if you'd lift up your uh, mouse and move it around to get it in the right spot. So here my hands are a little bit off, so I'm going to kind of set them here, press start, and now I need to position my hands where I feel they should be, so I'll move them up. And uh, now it seems a little closer to where it should be. That's pretty good. Um, so yeah, that's the hands. Um, another thing he's got in this one is a built-in uh, you do a webcam, so he's got it <coughs> once on the wall here, you can have showing what your webcam sees, as well as a little heads up. Heads up's kind of cool, I find it a little bit distracting when I'm using it. Not sure if you're watching videos, if it helps, but uh, I'm just going to leave it off, but it is there. And uh, you may notice there that I can select buttons on the wall just by... Uh, using line of sight and that's actually one of the most impressive uh, parts about this tech demo is just the way he did the interface. Um, after playing all the other games you see how bad a keyboard and mouse is, how uh, yeah the keypad or the uh, Xbox controller works decently but this is far more intuitive and uh, actually very well implemented so I just kind of want to show you guys that one. So he's also got some other toggles on the wall here um, one of them is a gaze feature, just highlights where you're seeing, uh, as well as your turn box. So in here they got a kind of a gaze turn, so if you get too far one direction you'll turn, and they represent that with a, kind of a translucent cube, and kind of see where that threshold is. And uh, for me it just kind of highlights how much I want to use Eve. Apparently they've got uh, head tracking for aiming, and you can see how accurate you could be with uh, using your head to aim. So I'm looking forward to uh, exploring that a little bit more. So I'll take that one away. Um, oh, one more thing with the uh, interface. Either hand, uh, the bumper button's on the Hydra. So you can be toggling with uh, either hand, which is nice. So I'm left-handed. Um, one thing about uh, drawing in 3D space, you can press the what button is that? Um, maybe the 3 button on the right side. You can create uh, three-dimensional art. Um, I can switch to my left hand and do it that way. And it actually works pretty good, it just looks a little different. Um, ideally though, I'd like to see that on both hands. On the left side, you use it to move around and make yourself puke. So I'm going to stay away from that. Um, toggle walk direction is actually pretty good. I'll get off, so toggle it again. So wherever your head's looking forward, will put you in that direction. So you go quickly this way, quickly that way. And I'm pressing forward both times, so uh, that one works pretty good. He's got a little lightsaber built in, so I'll toggle that and toggle some flying boxes to cut down. I actually found, if you get the uh, hands lined up, I'm just going to tweak mine a bit here. Get them lined up fairly close to where yours are. You can actually do some uh, decent accuracy, so see how I do here. you got to hit them twice, once for red and once for down that one. Oh. So yeah, as far as the first uh, lightsaber in VR, it is not too shabby. Um, sure, there will be many games where you'll be cutting down people and inanimate objects. Um, they have a little positional thing you can do. I uh, didn't really Think here. Didn't really play on it the too much. I tried it out once. Seems a little buggy, so I didn't really kind of stayed away from it for the puking. Um, I can also scale the world. Oh, I didn't show you the menu yet. Okay, so I'll get rid of the lightsaber here. Use that hand for that. And uh, the four button, or who knows what button that is, brings up kind of a little know, heads up menu, I guess. So you can pick different colors for your art. So if you're drawing here, can actually change the color while you're doing it with the other hand, which is kind of cool. 
Um, and just that line of sight interface again. It helps out. You can close down this one to keep your palette open. So if you're building something here, you can just leave that open on the side. Um, I'll stick on this menu. Uh, reset my lines here. Scale the world a bit. Which usually explodes stuff, so we'll see what happens. Small. And that's floating in space. Um, one thing I do like out in space here is kind of a tech demo for maybe some sort of astronomy VR app where you're you know, a teacher or some, some, someone who's trying to convey information about space around them. It could highlight certain areas or certain stars. Let's say you're... Uh, um, uh, yeah, it's kind of a cool little idea there. Um, what else can you do with this thing? Oh yeah, if you're doing battle plans, you're going into battle, you could draw yourself a little map, do some whatever, annotation of sorts, kill that X, and uh, it's kind of a cool thing to have. I'd like to see them do more with a uh, single line here to do more of like a Photoshop, like a VR version of Photoshop, where you're graffitiing, spray painting on a wall, setting uh, dynamic procedural animation, stuff like that. Um, what else we got here? I think that might be about it for the demo. Uh, yeah, kind of a good idea having the controls on the wall where you can see them. And, uh, other than that, very impressed with his early demo here. And I'd like to see some more from him. And just kudos on the uh, menu selection. It works very well. And in uh, the HUD, very nice. Okay, that's it.